G'day guys, it's Jarrah here and welcome to, well, Pottermore. So I've seen a couple of people do this and I'm like, hmm, I'm not a huge fan of Harry Potter, but I still want to know what Hogwarts house I'm in, my Patronus, my wand ceremony, and the sorting ceremony, whatever. I want to do all of this still and see what I am. So first we're going to do the Hogwarts house and just let's see what house I'm in. Let's do... Mahag Mahal Mahogwarts house. Let's sort it out. Let's figure it out. Let's figure out what we're doing. What house am I in? I could be Slytherin, I could be Hufflepuff, I could be Ravenclaw, I could be Gryffindor, I could be the other one, I can't remember. Sorry. So let's begin the experience. Answer truthfully, after all, the hat's a decision. Ooh, okay, forest or river? Forest. Straight off the bat. What nightmare would frighten you most? Standing on top of something very high and realizing suddenly that there are no hand or foot holders, not any barriers stopping you falling? No. An eye at the keyhole of the dark, windowless windowless room in which you are locked. Waking up waking up to find that neither of your friends nor family have any idea who you are. Yes, that is my worst nightmare. Being forced to speak no. Honest to God. This is my worst nightmare, which is waking up to find that neither your friends nor your family have any idea who you are. That is actually my worst nightmare. That that terrifies me. Which is the fine would you most like to study? Centaurs, goblins, mer people, ghosts, vampires, werewolves, trolls. It's between centaurs and mer people. I think centaurs more. No, mm, mer people. More people are fascinating to me. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? So there's a tabby cat, a Simonese cat, a ginger cat, a black cat, a white cat, a tuan owl, a screech owl, a brown owl, a snowy owl, a barn owl, a common toad, a natter jack toad, a dragon toad, a harley quinn toad, a three toad tree toad. I think I would go for definitely an owl of some description. Probably a barn owl, because that one sounds like... I don't know, that one just speaks to me a lot. Four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? The foaming, frothy silver liquid that sparkles as a containing ground diamonds. The smooth, thick, rich purple drink that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums. The golden liquid so bright that it hurts your eyes, and which sunspots dance all around the room. The mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink and gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. Probably the chocolate one. Because... I don't know. I like chocolate. It's my only reason. Which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with? Hunger, cold, loneliness, boredom, or being ignored? I struggle a lot with heat. So coldness I am fine with. Boredom I'm okay with. Loneliness... I love. I'm not. I guess hunger. Given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that will guarantee you love, glory, wisdom, power? Definitely wisdom because that's something that always forever changing and forever moving. So definitely wisdom. Black or white? See, I like both. What am I going to pick? That is a good question. Black or white? I kind of like black. Just because there's something about it, but I also love... I'm going to go with black. Okay. My sorting hat is... Well, my sorting house is... Da -da -da -da. Hufflepuff. Cool. I've been sorted into Hufflepuff. I mean, that's pretty cool. Let's look at more about the Hufflepuff house. Let's see if it actually is like me. Um, Hufflepuff. You probably know some of the Hufflepuff's most renowned members, including... I don't know. But did you know the Hufflepuff's house's goat, the fat fear, still presents the fact that he was made a... a I want to know. Here, you can also share Hufflepuff pride with your friends. I don't really care. I just want to know more about Hufflepuff. 
Explore the story, please. That is why I clicked on it. Hufflepuff's value, hard work, patience, loyalty, and fair play. The house has produced its share of great wizards. Not less than two, author of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I'll teach a lot at the same time, just the same. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so I'm a Hufflepuff, guys. Um, I was kind of thinking it'd be between Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm Hufflepuff. Let's do another sorting out. Let's do my Patrona. Oh, my eyes. Sorry. Let's find out about my Patronus, and then we'll do the other two in the next video. My hat's sitting weirdly. Okay, let's figure out what Patronus I am. Also, the link should be in the description below for this website. If I forget, it's just Pot Pottermore, and that's all it is. So it says better with headphones. I don't know why. There's no music in this. Possibly. I don't know. Questioning life decisions. Let's put on my glasses so I can stop blinking a thousand times per second. Except they're really dirty. Good job, me. Oh, they're so dirty. Why don't you self clean my glasses? I should do that before putting them on. That would be helpful. Also, it is so hot in this room. Ugh, but I'm a Hufflepuff. Hell yeah. My friends are Ravenclaw. I don't really know anyone else that, like, has done their house sorting. So I think that's actually quite interesting. Because none of my friends really like Harry Potter other than my best friend, E, who's... I'm pretty sure, yeah, she's a Ravenclaw. It's really easy to see, actually, because she's so smart um, like, mischievous. and Not mischievous, but she's, like, really smart. And I would definitely pick her as a Ravenclaw like that. Lord, 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 please, I want you to load. Well, I just, you know, wash the sins away from my eyeballs because they hurt a lot. Ooh. Oh, okay. We've got dramatic music here. Okay. Hello. I love this, like, dark with the white. Very contrasting colors. I love this. The Patronus is a kind of positive force. Well, never mind. I guess I'm not going to know. Discover your Patronus. You can only discover your Patronus once. The questions of time go with your instincts. Let's begin. Relax. Think of your happiest memory. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking about my happiest memory. Seek, protect, so protect. I'm just doing rapid fire. As soon as one picks out to me, I'm just picking it. It's as simple as that. But I always love to protect my friends, so protect, definitely. Warm or cold? Uh, cold. Because I'm constantly always warm, so cold. I love the feeling of cold, like snow. I love that. Cold is what I love. Play, proud, preen. Play. I like to be interactive and playful, but I'm also like a mother hen, so it, it depends. Scared me. Alright. I saw something. You're nearly close. You need to produce a Patronus. You're close. This would be weird in VR. Forever? Sometimes. Sometimes. Nothing lasts forever. Prepare to meet your Patronus. Should I close my eyes? Okay, I'm closing my eyes. Oh no, wait. Comfort. Advise, import. Comfort, straight away. Straight off the bat. Am I meeting my Patronus? Maybe? Click and drag to release your for your Patronus. Okay. okay, I'm gonna look around. It's so dramatic, the music's so loud in my ears. Click and drive. I think my internet just crashed. Okay, can we not? Yeah, because the things aren't moving. No! It's the worst time to crash internet. Hmm. 
No. <laughs> Seriously? It's fixed now. Click and drag to release your Patronus. Hello? Is a West Highland Terrier. Aww. You're so cute. Why is that my Patronus? Yes, more about my Patronus, please. Um, you my Patronus. Is it just going to show me what it just did? Because I'd like to know more information about my Patronus. Oh no, I did this already. It's a cute puppy. At first I thought it was a cat and I was like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> and then it came out as a dog. I was like, oh, cute. More about my Patronus. The Patronus is most famous and famously difficult defensive charm. The aim is to produce a silver, white guardian or protector which takes form of an animal. This exact form of Patronus. So this is explain what Patronus is. Patronus will not appear until the spell has been successfully cast. One of the most powerful defense charms known to wizard kind, the Patronus can also be used as a message between wizards. A pure protective magic conceal of happiness and hope. It is only a spell against Dementors that major wizards unable to unable to produce Patronus and do it generously considering the mark of its superior magical ability. I'd like to explore the story, please. A difficult spell and the only no one defend against. I don't care about Harry's. No offense, Harry. I don't care about your Patronus. I want to know more about my Patronus. Is, is, is it not going to tell me? Is this all? I'm confused. I want you to explain to me why my Patronus is what it is. I guess it's not going to. So let's go back to sorting. Ooh, hands are getting hot. So I'm my Patronus is a West Highland Terrier and a Hufflepuff. So I'm just gonna quickly search this into Google, into the Googles, and see what a West Highland Terrier looks like. Oh, it is a breed of dog scholar which is distinctive white harsh coat with a soft, the courageous, alert, friendly, hardy, active. Gay and independent. Cool. That's good to know. That's my Patronus, apparently. And with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked it, let me know in the comments below and tell me what your Patronus is. What house are you in? Anyway, dry ass guys in the next video. Sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. Feels weird now having that camera there because I've been trying different cameras.